Welcome back to our series on probability theory. I'm Mark Ledbetter, and this is lecture video 44. We are doing part B, and we're going to cover the Cauchy distribution. We've been talking about bivariate transforms, uh, transformations, using one-to-one -one functions, and we're going to need some new um, or some additional uh, distributions uh, for some of the examples we're going to work. So the first one is the Cauchy distribution, and the Cauchy distribution, um, we, uh, last time we found out that the, uh, the ratio of two um, normal, standard normal distributions, so the random variables that are distributed with a ran, uh, standard normal distribution, that ratio is a standard Cauchy, Cauchy 0, 1. So what does the 0 stand for? The zero is for the median, not mean, but median, or Q2. And the one here is theta, which is a scale parameter, how wide or uh, narrow the distribution is. All right. So we have a general Cauchy formula, which is a little more um, complex, but not much. And we've given that uh, PDF here. Okay. So let's learn a little bit more about the Cauchy distribution. So first, um, if you look, it's going to be symmetric about the median, M, okay? And the Cauchy is going to have uh, a lower peak and thicker or higher tails than the normal distribution. The normal distribution will have a, a higher peak in the center, and then the tails are thinner. Okay. Now, let's, let's show that there is no such thing as a mean of the Cauchy distribution. So we're going to use the standard Cauchy, because if it doesn't exist for that, it probably doesn't exist for, or it doesn't exist for any of them. And this is the, the easiest or least complex um, of the Cauchy distributions. So the mean, or expected value, is x times f of x dx, and integrated from negative infinity to positive infinity. Well, it turns out that x really is from negative infinity to positive infinity for the Cauchy. So the support of x is the entire uh, real numbers, or range of real numbers. And so we plug in for the standard Cauchy, and then x. So we have x times 1 over x squared plus 1 uh, times 1 over pi. Now, in order to integrate this, we're going to make a u substitution. But before we get there, let's uh, look at our limits of integration. So if I let x be negative infinity, then u becomes positive infinity. OK, so I do need this u substitution right now. So x squared plus 1. And so if infinity, x is negative infinity, we square that positive infinity plus 1, infinity. If x is positive infinity, same thing. We get positive infinity. Well, this creates a problem, because now I would be integrating from infinity to infinity, and that would give me an integral of 0. But we know that there is area, we can see just looking at the curve, there is area under this curve. In fact, it's uh, uh, the area under the curve itself is 1, so multiplying that by x should give us um, a positive or a, uh, a non-negative or non-zero uh, answer for the uh, integral here. So since it's symmetric about the median, not the mean, the median, uh, and in this case, m is 0 for the standard Cauchy. So we're going to integrate from negative infinity up to the median, and then from the median up to infinity, break it up into two parts. Uh, and that's perfectly acceptable to do. So let's look at the value of, x, of u when x is 0. When x is 0, u becomes 1. OK. So now we're going to uh, do the du and find out that it's 2x dx. And then solving for x times dx, since that's what we have here, we see that that's 1 half du. And so our mean, or e of x, is the integral from negative infinity to positive infinity of our expression, plus from 0 to infinity. Now this is under x. So when we make the substitution for u, it goes from infinity to 1. Do not change that 
uh, unless you're going to change the sign. It has to be from infinity down to negative 1 in this case. Um, so we could change the signs, but I'm not going to and make this a negative and that a positive, and then you'd think it was 0, but it's, it's not. Um, we have to be very careful with what we do here. And when we uh, end up with 1 over pi, du over 2u, and so um, the integral of 1 over u is natural log of u. And for statistics, we use just log because it's really the only log we, we use uh, commonly. So we know that when we're statisticians and we see log u, that means the natural log of u. Okay, so we have this expression from infinity to 1, and then this expression from 1 to infinity, and we see that we have 1 over 2 pi, um, negative infinity plus positive infinity, and that tells us that we can't evaluate this because infinity minus infinity is indeterminate, and it shows us that this does not exist. Okay, so there is no mean, no variance, no skewness, and no kurtosis for the Cauchy distribution. All right, so that's it for the Cauchy distribution. Um, please don't forget to scan and upload your lecture notes before midnight, the date listed in the course calendar. If you have questions, come to virtual office hours. If you can't do that uh, before you need an answer, then by all means email me, uh, but please send me a picture of the problem, because I may not have it handy, and a picture of your work so I can see how you're approaching the problem. That will allow me to help you quickly and efficiently through email. Please take care of yourself, and we hope to see you next time.